my favorite workplace in one of the fastest cars in the world. But three meters off the ground. All Red Bull Racing and Toro Rosso drivers are testing in the Milton Keynes simulator. Together with test driver Daniel Ricciardo, we will demonstrate to you what the simulator can do. The chassis, steering wheel, pedals, etc. are all ex-Formula One race car components. The cockpit is positioned on a hexapod, a platform with six actuators which allow the chassis to roll, pitch and yaw as the real car does. It might look wild from the outside, but from the cockpit it feels alright. In front of us is a 180 degree vision screen. Three projectors show realistic images from all the Formula 1 tracks from the driver's perspective. Even if you end up in a gravel trap, it will be shown. There is only limited testing now. The Red Bull Simulator is vital as a training tool for all drivers to prepare for and during the new season. We practice braking points and ideal lines. We get a better feeling for the circuits and the best speed in the corners. We optimise the gear ratio, chassis and aerodynamic setups. Pull away and give me uh, eight, eight time laps. Andy Dameron is working with us in the simulator. He does the operating and is engineering the optimum setup. After the training sessions, we analyse the data. We try and find out in which sectors we can do better next time. All physical attitudes of the simulator are similar to the real F1 car. The data systems on the simulator are compatible to the track data, so we're able to overlay the data. Okay, uh, can you put your foot on it's the even possible for us to compare setups after running the car at the track on Friday and we can test it then against the simulator to fine-tune our setups.